everyone and welcome to Food Review UK. My name is MJ and today we are reviewing the Big Match Meat Feast Pizza. I bought this from Tesco, it was half price which made it £3.50 I think. Quite an impressive looking sort of indulgent style pizza. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of sort of cook at home pizzas, I've sort of gone off them the last one or two years. Anyway, I decided to give this one a go because it does look alright. It's got a pork meatball crust topped with tomato sauce, mozzarella, mature cheddar cheese, Edam cheese and red Leicester and pepperoni. So I thought it looked like quite an interesting pizza. I've just cooked it and here's what it looks like. I added a little bit of extra cheese onto here, a little bit of extra red Leicester, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. Uh, I just, I let my pizzas cool down a bit on a wire rack um, so that the bottom doesn't get soggy from steam. So um, the bottom seems quite, yeah, quite, quite nicely cooked actually. Not terribly soft, but we will see. So there it is on the plate. Let's give it a go. Like I said a minute ago, I've added some extra cheese on mine, so I will take that into consideration on the review. Here we go. Mm. Base isn't too bad quite thin and quite soft on the middle section. Oh, Yeah. All these pizzas taste the fucking same. All these sort of, oh, uh, we've got nice pepperoni style pizzas. It's the tomato sauce. Oh, yeah, that's why. I don't understand why these pizzas do it. And why, if anyone ever puts tomato puree on a pizza, you're an idiot. This. Tomato puree, water, so the tomato sauce is basically tomato puree and water, basically, and it just tastes crap, it tastes, doesn't have any depth, it's cheap tasting, horrible, nasty, and look at the, look at the texture, it just looks, this is like the Goodfellas one, like the, like literally every sort of premium looking pizza pretends to taste nice with this skanky tomato sauce that just has no flavour, a horrible, horrible texture of the sauce. No flavour, no depth. It is just bland, horrible tomato. Uh, the pepperoni on this, again, it's a pretender. It's just pretending to be nice. Let's see the crust. Mmm. Crust isn't bad. And the blend of cheese is quite good. But then you get a hit of that tomato, tomato sauce. And it's just got a horrible texture and a horrible flavour. And you're just like, why am I bothering? Right, now let's get a bit with the meatball. Sort of, I suppose, the star of the show. Yeah. Meatball's fine, to be honest. Slightly cheap tasting, but at least it's got a bit of herb in there. And it tastes definitely of pork. And the sauce, because the sauce is how it is, it's sort of dry tasting. So average. So, so average. Yeah, I mean, it'll be nice if you like most sort of cook at home pizzas you'll probably like this because it tastes like all the other ones basically um, the crust is probably slightly better the bread doesn't have a huge amount of flavor but I guess it's fine I'm gonna struggle through this but luckily I've got a Papa John's dip to use uh, it's two stars yeah they're just all crap I I do this to myself all the time. I know that they're all crap and I still put myself for it. Best one I've had recently is that big, deep Chicago style one from M&S, but even that had its problems. That got way too soft in the middle. The outside where it got crispy was incredible and it had this really nice savoury white sauce on it as well. So it was really good, um, but it was sort of hit and miss because the middle was soft and I don't know. Anyway guys, thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you've actually had this. Do you agree with me or do you disagree? I know it's probably a slightly controversial opinion, but I just think don't think these pieces are very good at all. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later.